So I wanted to make a follow-up video on kind of how I did a couple things and some things I struggled with when I went to import drone data into Unity. Um, now obviously, there's many different platforms out there that people can use, SketchUp and Lumion, and I've done stuff in InfraWorks in the past. But the one thing I didn't like about InfraWorks was there was not as much control. You know, I just didn't like it as much. You couldn't move around cameras as these. I just personally, it wasn't something I was after. Um, so I wanted to try doing this in Unity. Um, so with that being said, I did a couple things up front. Uh, so this is what the drone was flown by somebody else. Uh, they used drone deploy. I don't know any facts about how they did the flight, like cross pattern, overlap, percentage, all that kind of stuff I don't know. I was just given the 3D model data. Uh, when you get the 3D model data, these these files I just highlighted was what I got from uh, this company that did the flying. So we got two MTL files, two OBJ files, and all of these texture files. Now I did a couple things up front just because they take a little bit of time and I didn't want to waste time in the video or do a lot of editing. So <clears throat> two things you have to do. One is you take this file and convert it to an FBX file. And Autodesk has platforms, there's probably stuff online that can do this, but you convert it to an FBX file. Uh, drone Deploy, if you're watching this, please add an FBX download option. Um, the other thing you want to do is you take all of these files, copy them into a folder called textures, and rename them model name underscore texture and then sequential. And you'll find out why when I open up Unity. So my model name, if you go back, is WWTP and make it short because obviously you can like name it like super long, but then you have to type it out a bunch of times or write a script. Uh, it's just easy if you just make it simple. So basically now you have 57 of these and so next what we'll do is uh, we'll open up Unity and create a project. The two file things was just something I did up front, the conversion and the renaming of textures. Um, just because I wanted to say, save time in like this demo. It's kind of like when you watch the cooking show and they like pull the fresh made bread out of the oven. So uh, we will call this, uh, we'll create a new project in Unity, call it demo, uh, and then make sure I just put it in the same folder to kind of keep everything organized. A 3D template and we'll create project. And this will take a few seconds. Resolve packages, imports or standard assets, and set up um, the standard scene. So while that loads, I'll review my notes of how I did this because um, I've only done it once. <clears throat> so make sure I remember what exactly I did. Uh, but once you get it, it's pretty simple, and I'll make sure I show you what happened when I first imported it in Unity. This took a, a little bit to figure out on some some serious Googling. So we have our, our standard scene here and we will go file um, or excuse me assets import new asset and we will import this FBX file and that will take a couple minutes just depending on how big the file is. This file is right in the round of like 300 to 400 megabytes so it'll take a, a little bit. Um, when you do this kind of stuff, try and keep some of the extra processes off if you don't really have to have all these programs open. Uh, it just obviously saves you on memory and CPU usage. It makes things go a little bit faster. So that file will import. And there's one other thing we will need to import. So now that this imported, uh, you can see this, you can drag it in, and this is what you get standard. When I imported the OBJ files in the past, this is what I would get. It would get basically the geometry as, I guess you could call it a grayscale. You can kind of make out like this is a building, these are some tanks, these are tanks, 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 some, some trees, but like it just wasn't really what you were after. So this is what you would get now the other thing we're going to import is assets import new asset we're going to import the textures file uh, we're going to import all of them so control control a import I should have created a new folder first but whatever we can move it around after the fact so we'll import all these textures 
And then after these textures are imported, we will create a new folder called texture and drag everything into it. So. So now you have all these textures added. I'll make this a little bit bigger. It's a little bit easier to see. And we'll hit uh, right, cl right click, create a uh, folder. We'll call this textures. And we will select all of these and drag them into textures. So <clears throat> next what we'll do is we'll click on the model Go over into the inspector tab, go to materials, and then we will go to use external materials legacy. Uh, they go down to naming model name plus models material, search local materials folder, uh, and then I will obviously should hit apply, and this will <clears throat> basically search for the local materials folder which we called textures and it will apply all of the sequential textures that we renamed uh, in our like windows file explorer and apply them to this model at least i'm pretty sure that's what i did uh, but when this is done we'll find out if it actually worked uh, and if not i'll have to figure out what the hell i did the first time Bada bing, bada boom. You now have color in the 3D model. And this is how you can import drone data into Unity, specifically using Drone Deploy. Like I said, if Drone Deploy lets you download FBX files, it'll make this a lot easier to do. Um, the other thing is, this is not one of the better 3D models. Um, I'm going to do another experiment, and like, probably later this week, it's raining right now. Uh, I'll find a small building or something here locally and I'll fly it with my drone, a Mavic, and then I'll use a DSLR camera to try and supplement with some ground photos to help make like things like this just just pop a little bit better. Um, because obviously when you want to use this for like uh, a presentation or a VR experience, you know, this is like a great first step for ground layer, but you really need to get some ground photos to help help with all of this like you know blurring and blending and the the photogrammetry algorithms doing their interpolation and you know pixel blending basically trying to fill in the spaces for especially like stuff like this like you can see you know stairs get jacked up the foundations and it you know I don't know exactly all the details of why this happens but I know that ground flows will help and also probably redoing some of the flights will help but you know that being said uh, this is at least the tutorial of how to import drone data into Unity 
Um, and with that being said, I will see you guys next time I figure out how to do something and want to share it with the internet. Let me know if you guys got any questions.